Drop. We slap. We slap. Got my coffee, gang. Dude put sugar in my coffee. No, I don't mess with a Tola dude. No sugar. He put sugar in my coffee. So now I'm not really ha I'm not really all the way woke up because I really couldn't enjoy my coffee. You heard? So now I need another coffee. Like smack you, my dude. Real talk. We'll smack you, my dude. Distinctly said, no uh, coffee. I mean, no sugar. I don't know how you confuse that with two sugars. It was dropping. Seven Souls was popping. 914 was really good. Roscoe James was popping. Sunny Caution was really good. What's really? What's really? <laughs> Yesterday I was online, man. We was out. We was online last night fishing for some haters. Ain't nobody come up in the. Ain't nobody come up in the chat, man. You heard? Disappointed. Disappointed, man. Underhated and underrated, man. Underrated and underhated, man. It's a damn shame, man. Sam C was populating. Howard and Sean, she was really good. Louis V. Oh, I'm gonna have to throw y'all on the shoddy right quick, man. You heard this blunt right here? Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not in one here to promote dudes smoking weed and stuff. I smoke weed for medicinal purposes because, you know, I grew up in Brownsville. But um, <clears throat> this this beef and brock I got right now, different, different. Damn. I gotta take this call home. Damn, man. Let me, let me, let me. Let me, 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 let me see what's going on, bro. Let me pull over. That's why I gotta have both my phones. See, my son, my son done housed my iPhone, and I be feeling sorry for the dude. So I be leaving it when I leave out the house. I be leaving him with the phone. But I need two phones. I can't function with one phone. I might be on live with one phone and gotta take a call on the next. You heard? So now I'm forced to buy this little dude a phone, bro. He too cash. You heard? He too cash. I got to buy this dude an iPhone. Unbelievable. You feel me? He getting that good. He getting that throwback Saquon. He getting that seven or that eight or something. <laughs> he getting a refurbished eight. You ain't get. I'm not. We can't do no major, no major expensive phone, bro. Straight up. Shout out to my bro Ebron, man. I feel sorry for Ebron, man. Shout out to Ebron. I feel bad, man, because since we put this series out, he got all type of niggas in his ear. You know what I mean? He got all type of niggas calling him, all type of niggas in his ear, telling him, yo, don't fuck with Laz. Laz getting money. He ain't giving you no money. You got, you got shit like that that's out there. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And, you know, like I tell every single person that I, that's why I said Pocket Watch is the movie coming soon. You heard? But, yo, I tell every single person that I do a video with, that I do a series with, that I do anything big with, listen, bro. If we put something out and Hollywood comes a knocking at your door and they say, yo, fuck Laz, we give you two, three hundred thousand dollars to do that shit with us. You know what I tell niggas? Go 
get that bag, nigga. Don't hold up no 200. Don't hold up no come up for me, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. So if Hollywood do want you to cut, want to cut my throat and give you a bag, nigga, cut this shit. I'm going to give you the razor to cut this shit. Cut this shit. Go get that bag and holler at me when you get that bag and hit me with some bread, nigga. If you, if you, if you really, you know, understand the game, hit me with some bread and I'm going to put that bread right back into the channel, my nigga. That's what I do this for. I don't do this to chain a nigga to my to my channel. I do this to make a nigga a fucking star in them streets and get you an opportunity where you could get a million dollars from your story. I tell every nigga that, bro. I don't want, I'm not, I ain't even gonna say, I'm not raping you records, my nigga. If you fuck with me and, and Hollywood is calling your phone, nigga, listen, Laz is a stepping stone. Laz was your stepping stone to Hollywood. You always was a star. You always had a Hollywood movie in you. You always had a TV series in you. I'm just the nigga that let it be known that you have it in you. So if Hollywood comes knocking, my nigga, and they want to cut the throat of Laz, holla at me so I could give you the straight razor so you could cut my shit the correct way. You feel what I'm saying? And I could get a little change out the deal myself, my nigga. But I ain't never stopping nobody bag. I ain't never stopping nobody opportunities. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm not doing, I'm not in the game for that, son. I got my own stories. I got a, I got a, I got a, a Oscar award women, winning movie in me, bro. You hear these bum niggas online talking about my case, giving out false information about my case because they, they, they just mad at me. So niggas, when you win so much, niggas will just start doing anything. You watch cartoons when you was growing up. Niggas did anything to catch the road runner. You heard? Niggas did anything to catch the road runner. You heard? But it never worked, my nigga. I'm the road runner, my nigga. You feel me? So niggas is going to try to plant all type of bombs, throw big boulders on me. Niggas going to try to do all of that, but it, it, I'm too fast for these niggas. I'm too swift for these niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, these bum niggas, man, I got a movie in me, my nigga. When I tell the story of my life, see, I ain't give y'all the story of my childhood and life and how I caught my case and what I went through emotionally and psychologically. I ain't give y'all niggas that yet. You heard? Because you got to save the best for last, my nigga. You heard? And I know I got a motion picture in me. And it's and and you know, I would love to feed niggas families and all of that off of that movie. But I gotta do things the right way. You feel me? I gotta do things the way I do. So like I always say, my motto is Cause I'ma tell y'all a fun fact. I'ma tell y'all a fun fact. This is a fun fact, right? The fun fact is everybody since since LAZ started bombing, everybody wanna act like they doing their own documentary and we got our own shit and we in the middle of a TV series and I'm doing a movie on Rikers Island. I hear it all, my nigga. You heard? And all of that shit is bullshit. You niggas just realize that a, a new genre has been started and niggas don't want to look like dick riders. And I understand that. But you ain't a dick rider. If you went to jail and you did a whole bunch of time and you got a whole bunch of stories, you got a motherfucking right to tell your jail stories, nigga. I tell niggas that I know. They be like, yo, Laz, I don't want to cut your, I don't want to come in your lane doing what you do. Nah, nigga. This ain't just my lane. If you did jail time and you feel you got them fire jail stories and you got the talent enough to captivate an audience telling them, by all means, nigga, go do that shit, nigga. Go do that shit, nigga. I ain't, I'm not acting like I invented this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Real talk. But anyway, a lot of niggas be under pressure, so they want to act like, yo, I got four documentaries in the works. You know what I mean? But I'm just hollering at you to let you know. Nah, nigga, come on the channel, my nigga. Come on the channel and let me release you as an artist. You understand? I'm going to give you a development deal and release you as a, a single deal. I put you out. If your story do big, my nigga, and you get some opportunities, nigga, go get it. That's what I do this for. See, niggas don't understand that in this game. That's what I do this for. You feel me? I, I I give ex felons that may go back into the streets and sell crack or shoot niggas. I give them niggas another means of uh uh getting some money, but just realizing, oh shit, I don't gotta do crime. People want to hear my story. 
People want to hear my story. People, pe people want to. People will fuck with me as a YouTuber. I could get checks from YouTube instead of robbing niggas and shooting niggas and getting selling crack on the block. Now I mean, fuck that. I'm gonna go this way. That's what I do this shit for, my nigga, to give niggas hope. And anybody who ever knew me, they know I've been doing that all my life. I'm, I'm in the hope business, my nigga. Hope floats. You heard? I sell hope, my nigga. You feel me? We live in desolate in a desolate time and a weird ass crazy world i give niggas hope son and i don't want nothing from it but loyalty if you happen to go get two billion from from netflix throw a nigga a little couple of dollars so i could the channel up and throw me a donation that's all bro i mean i'm not motherfucking uh you heard I'm not motherfucking Jerry Heller and them niggas. Like, <laughs> not I mean, nah, no disrespect. Rest in peace to Jerry Heller. But I'm not these niggas, nigga. I'm not trying to sign niggas and, yo, nigga, you better stay on you on my channel. Nah, nigga. Any nigga you see with a YouTube channel, niggas be hitting me up. Yo, lads, niggas running with your swag, son. Any nigga you see fuck with me that got a YouTube channel, I encouraged it. I encouraged him to go get a YouTube channel. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, nigga. We grown ass men, nigga. I don't want to be the only nigga with some power. I want everybody, I want all the niggas I fuck with to have some power so I could never lose power. That's how the game is played, nigga. I didn't grow up like that, you know what I mean? They ain't grow up in a hussy. I grew up in Brownsville, son. We didn't have nothing but guns, you heard? We ain't have nothing. We ain't had no money. We just had guns and Tims and army fatigues. That's all we had in the Ville, you heard? So we had like an unwritten rule in Brownsville. If I get something, nigga, if I get a slice of pizza, I got to cut that in half and give half of that to my man. You heard? In other parts of this city, niggas will eat that slice of pizza in your face and be like, yo, son, you got to get you up a slice. Go hustle. This is the land of hustle. Go hustle. In Brooklyn, in Brownsville, we don't get down like that, bro. I cut that, that slice in three, three slices if I have to. I'm gonna pour some of that fried rice in my man hand out the motherfucking out the container. You heard? I'm gonna save him half of my 35 cent juice. I'm gonna break my hero in half if we ain't got if he ain't got no money. You understand? These niggas ain't like that. If I get four chicken wings, I'm gonna give my man two of them chicken wings, Lord. You heard? Cause we in this together, cause we all grow up, we all grew up dirt poor with our mothers on welfare starving. We was all dirty, starving, dusty babies. You feel what I'm saying? So our mentality is different. And my mentality is different. So a nigga may feel like, oh, a nigga last. I don't know, man. A nigga be spreading too much love. It ain't that I spread love, nigga. It's that I was raised a certain kind of way. Find food, feed the army. That's the Potter's Field uh, motto. Operation one, find food, feed the army. You understand what I'm saying? So I feeds the army, my nigga. These niggas is confused with shit like that. Yo, niggas be, yo, lads. These niggas piggybacking off of you. Niggas ain't piggybacking off of me, my nigga. I'm feeding the army. You heard? Because it may come be a point in time where I need aid from that army, nigga. I may need aid from that army. Yo, son, I'm fucked up. Put me on. You heard? And niggas gonna put me on, son. But when you try to hog up all of the fame and money for yourself, niggas ain't putting you on when they get on, nigga. Niggas going to watch you starve, my nigga. You heard? I got niggas right now that niggas did grease bullshit to me when I was trying to come up in the rap game. Or niggas, you know, I, I remember it all. An elephant never forgets. And I'm a motherfucking elephant. You heard? You see these ears, nigga. You see these ears, nigga. You heard? But, um... It's niggas that, you know, these niggas was crabs. Them niggas, niggas was ignoring me when I was trying to rap. I had two videos on MTV with two of the most legendary rappers in New York history, Jones and Jada. And niggas still acted like they ain't seen me, you heard? Because I look different, nigga. Because I look like a Spanish nigga, but I'm a black nigga. I mean, niggas ain't get me. Niggas ain't get me. I mean, niggas intimidated by, by the God's presence. Niggas ain't understand me. But a lot of niggas, a lot of these niggas was hating, nigga. Rappers, DJs, whoo, I got a list of DJs. They was hating. And now these niggas see me, they see me, and I'm winning, and they like, damn, I don't want to have to look like I'm sucking this nigga cock now. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, my cuties? Hey, cutes. 
What's up, you little cuties? I'm about to pull over over there. I'm gonna turn this corner and pull over. Yes, it's your dad, bro. It's your dad. Your dad actually is other places other than with you sometimes. I'm looking at my son over here. My daughter started school today, bruh. You're back to school, bruh, because I wasn't my daughter. My daughter was going to an online private school while this COVID thing was going on. You heard? I was trusting too much things. There was too much things going on. I'm paranoid with these, with these, these cheering. You heard? I'm paranoid with these cheering. Oh, but I don't got no car seats, so they, they can't, they can't motherfucking get in the car, though. I'm bugging out. Damn, man, I'm spilling coffee, spilling this sugary ass coffee on my shit, man. That nigga's annoying, man. That nigga who made my motherfucking coffee, man. Every time he, every time anybody other than the chick makes my shit, it'd be a mishap. I swear. Yo, I forgot we don't got no car seat though. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got a stick? Give me this kiss. Mm. Look, say hi to the people. <laughs> say hi. Say hi to the peoples. Say hi to Gen Pop. It's my dude, bro. That's my doodly. But yeah, I'm about to go park this shit up, man. I'm about to go park this shit up. I got things I got to do, baby. I ain't even, I wasn't even planning on coming back up. I just, I don't know. I just came back. I don't know why the fuck I came back up. All right, I'm about to slide over there. Right. My nigga foul, what's popping? Focus on understanding life, what's really good? Rex money, what's really good? Selassie Sun, what up? Codename Mots, what's poppin'? 914, James Bell, Darius, what's really good? DeAndre Crosby, what's poppin'? Ahmed Long, what's really good? Mark A. Lewis, what's poppin'? Elaw, what's really? So he, was poppin'? Yeah. Brian King, what up? Nas Whip, what's really? Clifford Buchanan, what's really hood? Say less 67, my nigga Saquon in the building was populating. Saquon, I'm gonna call you as soon as I get off this jack, bro. As soon as I get off this slob, you heard? Taki, what up? Let me put y'all dudes on, on shotgun right quick while I while I go find some parking. You heard? Put y'all on some good shoddy. Shoddy McBody right quick. Y'all yeah, be back. Mm -hmm. My son gonna be stressed that I drove away. But yeah, man. Yeah, I'm about to join this gym, though. I'm about to join this gym this week. I'm about to start working out, man. Just like I said, man. Oh, look, look, look. Let me show y'all niggas something. Let me show y'all how these niggas get down out here, my nigga, in the Bronx. Let me show y'all niggas how these niggas get down out here, my nigga. This is why insurance is what it is. Look what they did to this man. Look. Look at this shit. Look. They got his shit on crates, my nigga. Took his wheels and his tires. His shit is on crates. He probably don't even know. He gonna come to get his car later on today, and his shit's gone, my nigga. You heard? This is why you gotta have wheel locks. If you live in the Bronx, if you live in, you gotta have wheel locks on your shit, nigga, or your shits will be gone. You heard? Niggas will put your shit on some crates and take them shits, my nigga. You got to have them wheel locks. You gotta pay that extra. It ain't even nothing. A wheel lock kit is like $50. You get that shit, you put them shits, or maybe $100. You put that shit on your shit, Niggas tried, when I first got my beam, niggas tried that my rims was stupid. I ain't have not one scratch on my shits. It was in immaculate condition. 
my five, when I had my 535. Word to anything I love, niggas tried to take off my fucking rims while I wasn't there, while I was parked up. And I ain't know my shit was making a rattling sound. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I took my shit to the tire shop. They said, yo, the nuts is out your shit. He said, they tried to take your shit, but they didn't know you had a wheel lock. And they ran into the wheel lock and they left it alone. I said, oh, shit. You heard? And I ain't even know what wheel locks was at the time. I just happened to get that car with wheel locks. I said, I'll never not, I'll never have a car without no wheel locks on that shit after that, nigga. Niggas try to take my whole shit off. Ran into the wheel lock and just bounced like, yo, oh shit, this nigga got wheel locks. Yeah, nigga. I'm a, oh shit, I forgot to order that shit. I gotta order that shit today. I'm about to order the mirror locks, nigga, that lock your mirrors so nobody can't steal your mirrors. Them shits cost $150. I'm going to have to bite that bullet and buy it, though, because you ca I can't park in certain places because niggas will steal my mirrors, my nigga. I got wheel locks, so they can't steal the wheels, but niggas will steal these mirrors, my nigga. And like I told you, one glass mirror from Audi costs $600. Niggas broke and stole my last shit, tried to steal it, and it broke. Good for you, stupid motherfucker. You tried to steal my shit, and that shit dropped and broke. You heard? That shit right there, that shit cost 600 nigga. I got that shit on sale for 400 from the Audi EOM spot. Luckily, I checked the EOM spot, because if I would have just fucked with... If I would have just fucked with uh, straight Audi, the dealership... Niggas would have got me for that whole six. You heard? I ordered that shit from Germany. That shit motherfucking was $200 cheaper. I said, all right, all right, all right. You heard? And them niggas wanted $1,500 to fix the wiring in it. That your shit dims. And I said, I ain't doing all of that, Lord. I ain't doing all of that. I'll do that shit at the end of my lease. At the end of the lease, I'll fix that shit. You know what I mean? But I ain't fixing it now because I don't need no auto dimming mirrors, nigga. It ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. It's getting hot again. It's going to be 80 degrees tomorrow. So we ain't all the way out to summer yet. But I woke up this morning. I went to sleep with that A on nigga. I woke up this morning. My shit was paralyzed under the under the covers. It was so cold in the room. I said, nah. I'm gonna have to be late tonight. Today. Cause I'm not getting out this cover. Nigga, that shit was brick. Can't go to sleep with the AC on no more. Yo ass get scorched. 1090 Bory TV, what's poppin'? Official Cam 7, what's really good? D. Joseph, what up? Gold Lady in the building, what's popping? The Royal Five Born, what's really good? Yeah, bros. All right, man, I'm about to hop off this shit. Pause, you feel me? I just wanted to check in with y'all dudes right quick. You know what I mean? Alski, what's popping? Want to check in with y'all dudes right quick, but I'm about to um edit this L famous episode. I fell asleep. Supposed to did it last night. I just fell asleep. Some mad funny shit happened, right? I was on live with y'all niggas last night. I got off of live, and then as soon as I got off of live with y'all niggas, I sat back, lit up a L, smoked a little bit of it, and then I just started nodding out, right? I fell out. My shit like this on the couch, sleep. My wife come in the joint. She like. You on live? You fell asleep on live? So I forgot. I done signed off. Told y'all niggas I'll see y'all tomorrow. Signed out. Nigga, I thought I fell asleep on live. I was like this. I said, oh, man, don't tell me I fell asleep on live. Looking like a straight dope fiend nodding out. I checked my phone and shit. I said, damn. My, my, my wife kept talking. I was like, shh, quiet. I don't want niggas to, I don't want to blow it up no more than it's already blown up. I looked at my phone. I said, nah, nigga, I ain't on no fucking live. I've been signed off for live and got up out of there. I was really, I was so half sleep, nigga. I thought I fell asleep on live. I was like, damn. They're going to be like, 
YouTuber St. Laz on heroin on live. It would have been a rap for me, my nigga. You would have had that nigga 6X and them niggas. 6X and them niggas would have went to town. You heard? Simeon was popping. The guard Simeon in the building. We got to get that part two in and smash these dudes, bro. That part one is smashing them with 14,000 views already. You heard? Comments on that is crazy. I just went in the comments the other day. It was mad um, comments that YouTube didn't approve that they was holding for review because mad people kept just putting the Guyanese flag and YouTube probably thought it was spam and they blocked their shit. But I just approved those comments. So it's mad dudes on there repping that Guyana. Ripping that GT. Yersh. Yeah, that pocket watch is the movie though. Now I mean if you out there and you want to invest in a movie, I got a movie. I got a movie I want to put out called Pocket Watch is the movie. You feel what I'm saying? All I need right now to put it together is about 12000 You heard? You put up that 12000 I'm giving you an exclusive movie. You heard? I'm going to give you an exclusive movie for your YouTube page that's going to build your channel. I can't be blowing up my I can't be blowing up my shit. But holler at me with that 12 racks and I'll let you know what I'm doing. You heard? Get at me. I'll be online later though for a fact. You know I'll be on live on live later on to show off my new Cash App sign. You heard? I'll be on there to do that. So holler at me if you want to do that pocket watch is the movie. We on it.